The year is 2022. The goal is to find the most efficient and fastest way to become a professional developer. The capacity for bullshit is zero and the time is now. Hello world and welcome to Algorithms with Ari. I work at one of the top 10 biggest tech companies in the world and I started learning programming in 2013. I've gone through a CS degree, several boot camps, a lot of YouTube courses and in hindsight if I were to do it all over again in a matter of several months and land myself the best opportunities, here is how I would do it. This is the outline of the next 10 or so minutes. We're going to be learning the fundamentals, seeing how to manage all these resources available online, what's the approximate timeline to get to at least this basic level. Then there's the secret ingredient, after which we go into data structures and algorithms coupled with the interview preparations. And last but certainly not the least, the mindset needed to do this all and do it all diligently. Now you can choose your own language, but the one I would recommend is Python. There's a myriad of reasons to learning Python. Some of them are listed over here. It's easy to learn. The syntax is a blessing for beginners. It has a very mature and supportive community. There's a vast population of exciting APIs, libraries, and frameworks, which I'll get to later. There's versatility, efficiency, reliability, and arguably some speed. Lastly, there's a plethora of exciting opportunities you can pursue with Python, namely cloud computing, machine learning, data science, and even blockchain. So first we have the fundamentals. These are the rules of the programming language, the syntax and the semantics that help you engage in programmatic thinking and ultimately enhance and fortify your problem solving skills. Basically, all of this is your fundamentals, but don't worry, you don't have to write it down. This is available in every single resource available out there. You're going to be learning this regardless of whether you pick a bootcamp, a YouTube course, or even a book. Now let's get to resources and man oh man, there are a lot of them out there. You can pick any one of these infinite resources, be it Code Academy, Free Code Camp, or even that brown guy who's teaching you tutorials on YouTube. But seriously, there's even great books out there if you're more of a hard copy person. Now here's the important part. Whatever you do, pick one resource, one path and go through with it. This is very important. Us millennials and Gen Z people, we start a, an endless amount of endeavors and we barely cross the finish line on most of them. So you have to pick one resource and have the discipline to go through with it all the way across that finish line. So the resource should be one. Secondly, it should have good reviews. It's easy to look up the top lists of boot camps or books or courses. And there's a plethora of websites, including YouTube, where there are people reviewing all the stuff. So you choose one course that has good reviews that you verified online. And apart from good reviews, the only thing that I require from this course to have is that it requires engagement. These can be questions, quizzes, milestones, just little projects engaging you, challenging you, and taking you one step at a time towards that finish line. Now let's talk about the timeline. This of course is a subjective topic. Everyone should go on their own pace and the availability of bandwidth they have to, to themselves. You have to take your time to really learn each chapter or module of this course. Now, depending on your pace, you could finish up with these fundamentals in two weeks if let's say you're doing three and a half to four hours of work a day, or if you're just devoting about an hour a day, you could do this in about two months. So most of you can get done with the fundamentals in between two weeks and two months. You can be on either side of the spectrum. That does not matter. What matters is consistency. There's a great saying about consistency by Aristotle and it goes, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act, but a habit. There's a very important strategy that you need to adhere to with this one. These projects are what makes or breaks you as a programmer. So you have to, and I mean this, you have to take a progressively strategic approach to get done with these projects. 
And what I mean by this is go with an easy one first, a couple of them, then follow up with some intermediate level projects and only then decide to dip your toes into complex algorithms. Now at each one of these levels, you can first follow along with your instructor. Just do whatever they're saying. You're allowed to delve into the world of copy paste, but then after you do that, you do it yourself. Or better yet, you do something similar yourself. Change it up a little bit. Change whatever you copy pasted, whatever you followed with the instructor and change it up a little bit and do it yourself after. This is what's really gonna engrave those concepts in your mind. Now, if I were to practice for a marathon or maybe a boxing match with, let's say, Jake Paul, I'm first gonna go into the gym for a couple minutes, throw some punches and get out. Then I'll go for five minutes, 10 minutes, and finally, I'll be ready for 12 minutes, 12 rounds of excruciating boxing with Jake Paul. I can probably take Logan too, but that's not the point. The point is progressively practicing these milestones and first copy pasting, then doing it yourself at each and every level. It sounds simple, but most beginners miss this point. This progressive practice is what's going to get you through to that finish line. I promise you. Now that we're done with the fundamentals and you have a well-rounded understanding of the syntax and semantics of the language, you will have already come across libraries and frameworks. You now need to get accustomed with the idea of APIs and libraries and how to programmatically communicate with them. This is the fun part, ladies and gentlemen. These libraries and APIs will allow you to take the programming language that you just learned and use it to communicate with anything in the world and create beautiful technologies. The more libraries and APIs you start playing around with, the more quickly you will realize the endless amount of opportunities available to you as a developer. The world is your oyster and the possibilities within Python alone are endless. That's right, robotics, automation, AI, machine learning, blockchain, you can achieve anything just by learning this one language or something else if you wanna go for another language. One more thing you need to have under your belt at this point is the ability to read documentation. You, you're gonna spend a lot of time doing this, which will also help you to write better documentation yourself. And trust me, you'll realize that this stuff is pretty important. Now we're in the final stretch of our timeline. We are getting closer to your job hunt. Now is the time you start practicing data structures and algorithms. And just like with the fundamentals, there are many resources for this alone. Now studying data structures and algorithms kind of goes hand in hand with interview preparation, which I can talk about in another video. A lot of these online courses are starting to teach you DSA and technical interview prep together and that is why I like to incorporate these into the same sessions. Reminder again, even over here, the consistency is what's key. Even if you're doing one question a day, that's going to get you to the finish line. Remember what Aristotle said, do you remember? I'll put it down there again. Uh, nope, not this one, not this one. Yep, this one. Consistency is key. And now, ladies and gentlemen, signore, signori, the technicalities are out of the way and we have to talk about something very important, the mindset, the mentality you need to approach this. You gotta not only focus on the theoretical and technical aspect of things, but also the implementation and applicability aspect of whatever programming language you're learning. Am I just watching this tutorial on a screen or am I really listening to it? Am I just copy pasting this code or do I challenge myself and fiddle with it? Do I change it up a bit? Your comprehension, remember, is going to be groomed if you first follow along with the instructor and then do it yourself. You're also going to get stuck a lot. And trust me when I say this, programming frustration is unlike any other frustration in the world. But the programming community, the problem solving help out there is also unlike any other in the world. You will soon realize that Stack Overflow is only second to your dog or your cat as the bestest friend you've ever had in your life. Most, if not all, problems you're going to run into are already going to be out there. You just have to be patient and look for the answer. Have some discipline, which is going to take you past that coding frustration I'm talking about. 
All the troubleshooting and debugging you will be doing while learning a programming language is going to help with your problem solving and critical thinking skills and, and just enhance your cognitive abilities in general. And you will thank yourself after the fact. And that is pretty much it for the 2022 roadmap. Remember to embrace the learning process, embrace going through progressively with those projects and embrace the frustration that comes along with all those data structure and algorithm questions that you're gonna run into. But you do this, you go through with this, I guarantee you within six to eight months, you will have a job that's contributing to the greatest era of technology the world has ever seen. Thank you for tuning in everyone. Please like and subscribe to Algorithms with Ari. Good luck.